always saying it. A lot of you have been asking me to make a video on how I study. I hope this was helpful. Okay, we're looking rough this morning. That's because I'm studying. Mom's filling up Summer's water bowl. I'm studying this morning, I'm on break, but I have a test on Tuesday on cardio, patho, and physiology. And a lot of you have asked how I study. I'm just gonna tell you now that it might not be the most effective studying, it might not be how you study, but this is how I study. I also don't have my cameras at Joe's house, but I figure I should film this, so I'm using my phone. All right, I study differently for different classes. But, and look, my mom just went out and bought me some more Expo markers because I go through these so quickly. So let me show you how I study for pathophysiology. Okay. I've seen in, like, there's my cereal. I've seen in other people's, like, Instagram videos, they don't show, like, all of the PowerPoint. Um, I don't know if that's what I should do, but I'm not going to show you all the PowerPoint. So this is what I'm going to, I'll give an example. Hold on. Okay, so action potentials, which I'm sure a lot of you know of if you're going into PA school. But so what I'll do is I'll go through the PowerPoint. So this is one of my PowerPoints. This is um, cardiophysiology. And in the beginning stages, I'll write things down on my whiteboard just so that I'm um, like absorbing the information better. And then I'll do that a couple of times. So um, can I turn this thing around? No. Okay, hold on. Okay. So I'm the kind of person who needs lots of repetition, lots and lots of repetition. I know some people in my class, what they'll do is they'll go through a PowerPoint really slowly. Um, like it'll take them days to get through, but that means that they just go through it once and they got it because they went through it slowly. I'm the kind of person who needs to go through a PowerPoint at least like five or six times before a test. So usually what I'll do my first time, I'll go through the PowerPoint. I'm just reading it and just like getting like it's somewhat in my mind. And then today is my second time going through it and I'm writing on my whiteboard so I'm absorbing the information more. And I'll probably do that one or two times. And then what I do is I'll go through the PowerPoint and I won't look at what I've written or what's on the PowerPoint. I'll just um, write on my whiteboard everything I know about that topic. And then I'll look at my PowerPoint and see the points I hit and maybe what I missed. And then I'll write that down on my whiteboard. So pretty much I love my whiteboard. Hence why I go through Expo markers so quickly. Um, yeah, so that's what I do for pathophysiology. I hope that makes sense. Um, I think it's really helpful. I use my whiteboard actually for a lot of classes, but how I like study is a little bit different this semester. I've been using my PowerPoints a lot because um, it, to prepare a study guide takes a lot of time, and this semester we don't have a lot of time to do that. So um, I've been taking... Um, been making use of just the PowerPoints. Um, a lot of my classmates and me, we all use OneNote. So I'll show you again. Hold on, gotta stop the video every time to turn my camera back around because I don't have my regular camera. Hold on. Okay, so a lot of us use OneNote. So, I don't know if I should. Okay, I'll just show you up here. So here's my all my different classes. So immunology, everything like that. And then on the side here, you can like have different um, tabs. So like these are all different PowerPoints from different days. Um, and then you just have the PowerPoint slide and then you have all the written text next to it. This is going to be a very choppy video, I apologize. But yeah, OneNote is how I take all my notes, um, except this semester we're doing something different where we have our integrated classes, which means like, for example, earlier in the semester we did all of pulmonary, so we did like clinical medicine, like how you diagnose symptoms, all that. We also do pharmacology, diagnostic methods. And then we have separate classes, like we have pathophys. I'm taking micro and I'm also taking like a psych class. So for our integrated class, we have a lot of guest lectures. So we make our own study guide using like Pants Prep Pearls and Current, which is a textbook. And then during our guest lectures, we'll fill in like a lot of blanks that we have or just extra information. So we'll use, we have a study guide on Google Docs so that, um, cause we have like a group who all contributes cause it would be a lot of work to do it by yourself. Um, they actually recommend that you do it in groups. And so we have a Google Doc as our study guide so that we can all be typing when the um, guest lecturer is talking and we can see like who's adding what and all of that. So for what we call FCM, um, 
I always forget what it stands for. Uh, fundamental clinical medicine something like that anyways for that class that's what we do I have a study guide I write we all type out a study guide and that's on a word document so that's different than going through the PowerPoint because it's just the words and but I'll do the same thing with the whiteboard same concept I just go through it once just reading it and then I'll use my whiteboard to hopefully absorb the information more and then I'll go through the topic so let's say like the objective is asthma so I'll just see the word asthma because that's like the top of my word document and then I'll write everything on my whiteboard. I'll say, oh, like, well, what are the symptoms? What can you use to diagnose asthma? What are the medications you can use? Um, and I'll write all that I know and then I'll go through the actual objective and say, oh yeah, okay, I got this, I got this. Okay, I missed that. You would use a bronchodilator, like things like that. So that's how I study. Um, I study every single day. I go to the library every single day. Right now I'm taking it a little easier because I'm on break and I don't want to study. Um, yeah, uh, everyone studies differently. One of my friends uses flashcards. I used to use flashcards in undergrad, but I got kind of sick of making flashcards, but everyone studies differently and I'm studying differently than I did in undergrad. In undergrad, I would print out everything and I would take handwritten notes and then I would take the time to type up my handwritten notes into a study guide, which really was just a lot of extra work for me. Now I take notes typing on a laptop, which is my first time ever taking notes on a laptop. A lot of people did it in undergrad, but I'm much more of a handwritten kind of person. But now I do it all on the computer. It saves time. In PA school, you just want to save time, save time, save time. So a lot of you have been asking me, I've been trying not to say so as much, but I'm always saying it. A lot of you have been asking me to make a video on how I study. I hope this was helpful. Maybe I'll make a time lapse of me actually studying. I have very messy handwriting. Yeah, um, let me know if you have any questions. It's that time of year where everyone is doing interviews, submitting their applications. I got to participate in an interview um, at my school. I got to help out. We took the students around um, like our campus and showed them the hospital and where we had anatomy lab and our classroom so that was really fun i like doing stuff like that so i wish you guys all the best of luck on applying and interviews and hopefully getting accepted and for all the people who are not pa students or if you just wanted to learn how i study in general not just for pa school there you go all right let's do a little time lapse thanks for watching and let me know what future videos you want to see. Bye guys. Okay, just took a time lapse, didn't work. I'm gonna do it again. But I just wanted to mention that I personally don't really use textbooks. I did last semester and I feel as though it didn't really help um, too much. For my FCM class, I do use Pans Prep Pearls. I do use a textbook called Current and that's because we're trying to get the most information on each of our objectives. We use objectives um, given by the pants people so like um, for pulmonary it will list out all the things like like asthma cystic fibrosis acute respiratory disease syndrome distress syndrome um, so that's how we do it and I'm trying to get the most information so we use the textbooks for that but that's pretty much all I use the textbooks for if you use textbooks that's great a lot of people use the textbooks I'm just saying personally I don't and I'm not saying I would recommend that but I personally just don't get much out of um, reading the textbooks so let's try that time lapse over again <laughs> okay bye guys <laughs>